Welcome developers. In this video, we will learn about five JavaScript array methods that will make your life easier as a web developer. These array methods that we are about to learn do not alter the original array. However, there are other array methods that changes the length of the array. I have a video on that and link is in the description below. Here on my screen, I have defined an array of some people and their ages, which we are going to use for our different array methods. The first array method I will talk about is the map method. The map method allows you to create a new array from an original array by calling a function for every element in the array. For example, I want to extract only the names in this array into a new array. I will define a variable called names equals people.map and then there will be a callback function. I will name it person. So our function will return person.name. If we print out names, you will see it returns a new array with only the names in it. And if we want their ages instead of names, all we need to do is to just change the name to age. The good thing is the map method does not change the original array just as the other methods in this video. Let's console.log people and you will see that the original array remains the same. Let's move on to the filter method. The filter method creates a new array filled with the elements that pass a test provided by a function. Let's say I want to filter out all those with age less than 25 from my array. I will create a variable and name it below 25 equals people.filter which takes a callback function in this case person our function will return person.h is less than 25 now let's print it out and let's see as you can see it returns rose jason and mike and they all have their ages below 25 the next method is the for each method the for each method runs a function for each element of the array, and unlike the other array methods, it does not return anything, so we don't need to assign it to a variable. So let's say for each element in my people array, I want to print out its name. We type people.forEach. It takes a single function, person, then console.log person.name. It prints out all the names in my array. And if I want their ages, I'll just change name to age and I should get their ages. Next is the find method. The find method allows you to find a single element in an array. It returns the first element that passes a test we provide in the function. So let's say I want to find a person by the name Samuel in my array. I will define a variable called find person equals people.find. It takes a single function. And since I want to find somewhere, I will enter return person.name equals 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 somewhere. Then I will print out find person. As you can see, it returns the element which contains somewhere. If I want to find someone who is 30 years old, I will just change the name to age and then change somewhere to 30. Next, we move on to the sum method. The sum method is a little different from the other array methods. The sum method checks if any element passes a test in a callback function and returns true or false instead of an array. For example, I want to see if the array contains someone below age 25. I will first define a variable and name it anyone below 25 equals people.sum. Again, it takes a single function, person. Return person.h is less than 25. As you can see, it returns true because there is at least one person with age below 25. Let me change it to 17. And it should return false because there is no one with age below 17. If you are still with me until this point, then it means you are enjoying the video. So please take a few seconds of your time to like this video, subscribe, and then hit the bell icon to support the channel. The final array method I will talk about is the every method. 
the every method executes a function for all elements in an array and returns true if the function returns true for all elements. If the function returns false for one element, then the every method returns false. For example, I want to check if everyone in the people array is below age 25. So I will create a variable called everyone equals people.every. It takes a single function, person, and return person.h is less than 25. Let's print it out and you'll see it returns false because there are people in the array whose age is above 25. Now let me change it to 40. And it should return true because everyone in the array is below 40 years of age. Please remember that all the array methods that we've talked about so far do not change the original array. However, there are some other array methods that change the original array. I have a video on those array methods and link is in the description below. Thank you for staying with me until the end and I'll see you in another video.